Well, hello everybody. We are actually here in Ephesus, and it's quite amazing to think that this is the place where Paul and John and Timothy and so many of the characters that we read about in the book of Acts actually walked and did their ministry. And behind me is the, the great amphitheatre, which in its heyday could actually seat up to 24,000 people. And it was not far from here that the great riot in Ephesus took place. Uh, this is where Paul had to be rescued almost from the crowd. But this is also the place where Paul uh, spent time working as a tent maker. This is the place where he uh, probably wrote some of the letters. We're going through 2 Corinthians right at the moment. And it was here that he probably penned, or whatever equivalent, 2 Corinthians in this very, very city. And it's just incredible to think that this is uh, the place that, that, that serves the background to all that we read in so much of Paul's letters. And it's a great privilege to be here, and I'm just uh, thrilled to be able to, to show you just a little bit of the, the history that lies behind our preaching series now. Well, the most amazing part about this is this long road down here, which is the road that leads to the harbour at Ephesus. Now, today, the sea is nowhere to be found because it's all silted up. But um, at the time of Paul, there would have been a thriving marketplace, and at the end of there, there would have been the harbour that so many of the uh, ships that brought all the trade and all the people who would come to Ephesus would have landed. And that's where Paul would have landed when he came to Ephesus. That's, that's the view probably that he would have had as he came out of the harbour looking straight up towards this big amphitheatre and then going up uh, the, the, the big main high street here into the main centre of the city. It's just fascinating to think that we're walking where Paul walked. Well, this amazing open area behind me is the marketplace, the big marketplace of Ephesus. And it's very likely that Paul would have done some tent making here. We talk about tent making ministry. Well, that's what Paul would have done. And it would have been here that he would have earned his crust, as it were, to pay for the ministry trips that he was involved with. Quite fascinating just to see what he would have been involved with.